Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to do uh, what's in my diaper bag. Um, as you can see, I don't have an actual diaper bag. I opted to go with a school bag slash backpack um, because I'm a fairly small person and I find it difficult to have an over-the-shoulder bag and to carry her in my arms at the same time or have an over-the-shoulder bag and have her in the car seat and lugging all that weight around. Um, also, this will be dual purpose, so it's a little bit cheaper in the long run. And Daddy doesn't mind the style, so it doesn't have any, um, you know, little balloons or teddy bears on it. It's a Swiss Army gear, or Swiss gear. I got it on sale at the Bentleys, 70% uh, off, so it was cheap. You can also get luggage that matches it. It's got this nice padding on the back. Uh, so for the longer trips, it's got all kinds of neat pockets. It's got one on the side with some mesh here. Uh, this is usually where I put my water bottle. Um, in the front, it's got a big pouch here and a small one here. And then on the side, it's got a little, I guess this would be for your cell phone, um, and one down here. So I'll show you what I keep inside and hopefully it won't run too long and I'll get straight to the point. So on the outside I've got some Purell, just some sanitizer, so sometimes uh, you touch some gooey stuff or you want to wash your hands and there's no water before you touch your baby, so this is nice and convenient. Attached to this, uh, this is a little quick access, uh, I've got gum, a cell phone charger, a headband, comb, what else is in here? I think I have a lip balm. Anyways. It's a little mommy compartment. Um, down here, uh, I keep her toys, so quick access. So if I'm waiting in a waiting room or at the doctor's office or at the grocery store, I can just turn around and pull some toys out, wooden toys. And this is quick access, so I don't have to look for it. It's the Walita trial pack. Um, I kept it, it's good. Um, I've rebought this cream, I really like their products. Um, there's baby oil, uh, shampoo, lotion, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I don't have to carry a bunch of, you know, big ones. And then I have the bigger formats at home and then I just refill them. So that goes in the front pocket. Uh, on the side here, I carry bibs. Because sometimes she's at that age now where she's drooling. She's four months old. Hey, Rose. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so yeah, I have this bib that I, I made for her, so that goes in that pocket. And then on the other side, uh, she doesn't really use a soother anymore, but there's one in here just in case. It's the Tommy TP, uh, zero to three months. We haven't graduated to a bigger one, but she hasn't really been taking it for the last couple of months, so it's just there in case. And then in the bottom, um, it's where I keep my bottle of breast milk if we're going somewhere. I'll put this with an ice pack. Uh, it's the Medela ones with the nipple and cover. I'm just going to leave that out because I'm going to put it back in the fridge. So then, as you can see here, there's two main compartments. The front one here I keep for myself or if we're going on long trips because our family lives out of town this is where I will put her extra clothes um, right now all I have is um, her health card and immunization records and I've got a couple of mommy pads, breast pads, sanitary napkins and then in the main compartment it's got a double zipper and within the main compartment, there's two compartments, so it's just spilling out right now. This is my wrap that I made. Uh, I just went to the fabric land and got uh, four and a half yards of fabric. And it's 30 inches wide. Yeah, I'm going to cover you up. And this is what I wrap her in when we go walking or grocery shopping, hence the backpack. It's just a lot easier. It's a stretchy material right now because she's still small and I don't carry her on my back. 
but I will be making another one made out of uh, a solid cotton so she doesn't stretch out of it. She is getting heavy. You're 14 pounds. Yeah, you're 14 pounds. You're getting heavy. Okay, and then I picked up this little mesh bag at the dollar store. This is where I keep an extra outfit in case we have an accident. This one's just a jumper. I usually carry a one-piece jumper so I don't lose parts and I know I've got one outfit to fit her and this one I had an extra pair of socks somewhere oh it's still in the net and then yeah I can just put the net in the dirty wet bag so it doesn't get poop on it and stuff like that and I just toss it in the wash you want some socks? yeah socks? after that I carry an extra jacket for those super cold days um, this one is just like a little gray sweater that uh, I'll put on her to get into the car and stuff and then I'll open it up uh, it's thin but warm at the same time it's not like she's out there playing she's just in her car seat so we do get minus 35 Celsius weather out here and then next uh, I have this hat that I made her um, it's just some flannel plaid, plaid and fleeced lined and the fur is a snowshoe hair that my husband caught and then I tanned it and I sewed it on and she looks really cute when she has it on hey Rose yeah she actually sweats in it it's way too warm for her like as soon as we get in the truck she I gotta take it off or else she's sweating buckets uh, next we've got winter booties um, they've got like the soft sole and these are 100% merino wool so that keeps her super warm. They're kind of a funky color but I adore these. These were uh, given to me by one of my husband's friends and on the inside there's actually lamb's wool. I don't know if you can see with the light but it's white in there and fuzzy. Maybe this one's open. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyways they keep her tootsies warm. Then I have a muslin swaddle, 36 by 36. So if we're out for dinner, I can swaddle her and put her down wherever we are. I have some mitts, which uh, she likes to chew on stuff. And if I can't wash her hands, I'll just put these mitts on her. And then I can just flip it when they get kind of gross for that outing. And then she has a new mitt. So it just flips inside out. I thought these were super clever. And then they have Velcro on them to tighten around the wrists. Yeah, you having fun? Helping mom? I also keep a extra receiving blanket. Uh, so when I do put her down at friends' houses, uh, she won't drool on their bed or something or on the couch wherever she's down and I also put this uh, like not the same one if I've used it for um, to put on top of her changing pad because sometimes it's cold and it's icky and I need more surface because those changing stations are kind of gross so I just spread that out on top of the changing mat and then yeah I know we're good to go uh, I also carry a jar of coconut oil always good to have on hand. Um, I always wash my hands before I use this like the sanitary stuff because um, I use it for myself and for her um, and then back here there is a velcro. I think this was supposed to carry a computer but it works well to carry the diapering supplies so here is a wet bag to put all of our dirty items. Yeah I'm putting all this on you uh, so dirty diapers, dirty wipes, dirty clothes, whatever soil just goes in here and I know it's not going to dirty my bag. I also carry a wipes pouch so before I leave the house I take these wipes that I made. Um, I'll soak them, wring them out, fold them in half, it's really hard with one hand, and then put them back in. Oh, this one here. And like I showed in my other video this one snaps to keep the water out. So this I always keep about five or six wipes depending on how long I'm going to be. I keep an extra diaper cover in case there was poop on the last one. 
And then again, it all depends how far we're going. I'll keep uh, two or three extra diapers. One, two. Here's my extra changing mat, or the changing mat. And see how it's shiny and waterproof? This is what I find is cold on her uh, if we're out and about. So I'll put this, this mat here on top before I change her. And then, yeah, that's it. I've got some wipes in here that someone gave me. Um, I've been using them as, like, Kleenex. Like, in the last four months, I still have the same pack. So I haven't found any uses for them. But they're in here, just in case. And I also have a little garbage bag. A roll of uh, disposable garbage bags. They biodegrade, so when I have or make garbage, like Kleenex or a wrapper from food, I can just put it in here and then I know I can toss it in a proper way. Alright guys, so that concludes uh, what's in my diaper bag video. Hopefully it was uh, helpful and not too boring. So we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.